if you are a travel blogger, one of the most important things to focus on is growing your traffic. And one of the best ways to grow your traffic is with Pinterest, which is essentially a visual search engine. People search for ideas and, and answers to questions, find pins, and they actually click through to your website, which is very different from any other social media platforms where people tend to scroll and scroll and scroll. Now, I don't know if you're like me, but whenever people were like, oh, it's so quick to create pins with Canva, I never felt that way. Granted, I'm not good at design, and even with templates ready to go, it still always took me a good amount of time to create a variety of Pinterest pins in Canva which is why I am so happy that I found a tool that streamlines this like times a million. It's so quick and easy to use, and it's called Pin Generator. Now, I found this tool on a website called AppSumo. If you are not familiar with AppSumo, oh my goodness, it's such an amazing platform. It allows you to get really affordable tools, like discounts on tools or lifetime deals on tools that are typically subscription-based which can be really amazing. The way it works is you're usually getting in with a tool at the ground level when it's first launching or when it's in its first you know, year or, or maybe a bit longer, but it's newer tools that are just getting off the ground. So you can be an early adopter and grow with the tool and get in at a really affordable price. So you can just do a little screen scroll here. You can kind of see, and it's all tools that can help you really streamline your workflow as a blogger, as a business owner, content creation tools, SEO tools, video tools, social media tools, etc. So definitely check this out. I'll have AppSumo linked in the description of this video, but let's now look at Pin Generator. All right, so here we are in Pin Generator and you can see there are different tabs. Right now I'm in the templates tab. They have their own different templates. You can kind of click through and there's a lot of options. Some of them I think are are really weird, <laughs> but some of them are really good. So what you can do is as you go through, you can favorite the ones you like, and then there's a tab with your favorites. You can also create your own templates. So you can click add new template and then actually create one yourself. I have, and let's just see, let's just do that. So yeah, then you can kind of drag and drop elements here to create your own. I haven't done that yet. I actually have templates I do like in Canva. And I saw in the AppSumo forum that they are working on a way to quickly import those into Pin Generator. So I guess stay tuned for that. There is also a way to upload your own templates from Canva as an SVG file. I haven't been able to get it to work. My file is always too big. I've tried to kind of make it smaller, but Anyway, maybe someone who's more savvy with that kind of thing wouldn't have a problem with it. But anyway, I'm doing fine just using their templates for now. So let's go back. Let's go to generate now. So you can grab a blog post. So I'm just going to put a URL to one of my blog posts. You can tell it how many pins you want it to generate. So let's say, sure, 12. And you could you don't have to use all of them either. So you could say, okay, generate, you know, 15, and then you pick five to 10 that you want to use, whatever, however you do your strategy. But okay, let's hit generate pins. All right, so now it's going to pull images from your blog posts. So you can say, okay, yeah, I like this one. Let's use this one and this one, and maybe that one, that one, that one, and that one. Done. And you can see now it used those photos. Now we are not done. You can of course just export these and use them, but you can also customize them to be in line with your brand. So colors and fonts can easily be changed. You can also fix low contrast text. We go to um, colors here. You'll be able to change this color. So let's just say, I think I'll change, let's do this color. So one of my brand colors is this. So you can see it's changing as I'm writing it. And you could decide, you know, okay, I'm going to change this color to something else. I'll just pick uh, this just, just for the moment. And maybe we change this to that and this to 
there should be another dark color, that. So it's easy to change the colors. If you come to your brand settings, there's other things you can do. You can also set a logo. I don't really like to have a logo in my pins, but that's an option. Something neat here is you can upload images. You can randomize the images. So there's different things you can do here. Like let's say you have another image now you want to use. You can upload that. Um, let's go maybe to this pin. Let's say I want to change that image. You could upload an image or you can come to their stock photos and I could just search maybe, I'll just search Bali for now. All right, or maybe I'll even search because we're talking about Ubud here. All right, so maybe I want this one. You can drag that over. You can also use their stock, oops, sorry, their stock videos here. So let's say Ubud. And then if you wanted to make more of a video pin, you could pull that in. Now there's also these cool AI options. Now in this section, you can have it rewrite your titles with AI or rewrite your descriptions with AI. You know, for Pinterest, you want to have those fresh pins with unique images, unique titles and descriptions to really increase your chances of getting those click throughs back to your site. So you can choose what to have it do there. You can have it generate all text with AI. So we can click that and you can let it know keywords to use, which I think is really, really neat. So let's say three days in Ubud, and it will also suggest keywords you might want to use. Um, let's say Ubud itinerary. Um, and Ubud in three days. Let's say those are the keywords I want it to include. Then you would just go up here and I'll just do the descriptions. And you can also choose the tone here as well. I didn't mention that and change the language. Now, there are a bunch of buttons here, but the first one I want to talk about is the pencil. So for all the pins I'm going to use, you can click in and make sure that the title description and alt text and, you know, everything is correct. Um, so I'd look at that. Maybe I'd tweak that. It didn't add the alt text, but that's fine. You could add your alt text here. Um, I think those are nice fields in a mood, something like that and you can click save. Now, I also want to mention you can customize these. You don't have to leave them how they are. So what you could do is click into, you know, say that, and then you can change the fonts there. There's more as well. Just, you know, just doing a quick scroll there. And you could change italics and bolds and things like that. You can get rid of something like if you don't want that, you can delete it and make this larger. So you can really customize these. But the other neat feature of this tool, and you see, just a quick look at some of the other pins. I don't think I showed those yet. Is you can schedule them. So you can click this red button and pin straight to Pinterest. You can um, add to queue, which I'll show in a sec. You can download it. Um, you can continue using AI to rewrite. You can duplicate it if you like this pin, and then maybe you want a similar one with a different photo. That could be really helpful. So let's go to add to queue because this is what I usually do. You'll be able to choose a board that you would want to pin to, and then you can click done. Now let's go to schedule so we can dive into that a little bit more. So you can set your schedule, edit scheduling settings, 10 pins per day. You can choose your times and your time zone and there's some current time slots there. So you can choose those similar to any other scheduler, really. And then you can always edit these, move them around, delete them, etc. Like I personally, if I have a pin to the same post, I like to spread those out. You don't want to pin like 10 pins from the same post in the same day. You want to make sure those are spread out. So that's really, you know, a great feature here. If you click in, you can edit anything on the pin itself, the, the title description, or you can change when it is scheduled for. So this is really an all-in-one tool for you. You can create your pins, you can generate a ton of them, you can design your own, you can customize them, you can utilize AI to speed things up with your titles and descriptions, you can schedule them, etc.
All right, now I hope you found this video helpful. I know there are a million things we all have to do in our blogging business, so anything we can use to save time is always great. I will have a link to Pin Generator in the description of this video. Additionally, if you'd like an actual strategy for growing on Pinterest, I'll also link a free workshop that I co-hosted with Pinterest expert Natalie Bardot. She is such a wealth of knowledge when it comes to Pinterest. I mean, just go check out her profile and you'll see just how much of a reach she has on this platform. She really knows how to see success with it, whether you're looking to grow your traffic or your income. And finally, make sure to hit subscribe so you get notified when future videos publish, sharing tips and strategies that can help you turn your blog into a profitable full-time business. Happy blogging.